Hi friends. So we're in the middle of working on our paper bag project. Um, hopefully from the video you watch me read through the assignment sheet and you've cut out the bag. And so here's my, you've cut out the bag and you had your choice of doing it this way or you could do it a larger scale this way. It's up to you how you wanted to do it, your choice. Then you had to do an organic line in the middle, thin and thick areas. You also needed to do a pattern with repetitious, um, a pattern with repetitious colors with using complementary colors. So example here, I did orange and blue. And remember that complementary colors are across from each other in on, on the uh, color wheel. So you can always reference the handout that I sent, sent you uh, on the first day of this assignment. And I'll remember to post it again today so you can see it. So the next step after we've done that is we can either, we can clean up the edges, but on this one, I didn't need to clean up the edges. Um, and I wanna divide this now into four sections. And I might want to think about doing that with a pencil before I actually do it with marker or paint or whatever. But you want to divide it up into four equal sections. So I'm just doing that and I'm feeling pretty good about that. And in each one of these sections, I need to have some, si some recognizable imagery. And we can make it abstract as well to a certain degree. It doesn't have to look realistic. Um, it's up to you. And if you remember, we'll get my mine. Here, we'll walk over here and mine's hanging on the wall here. Um, so when we look at this one, the recognizable imagery on this one is the skeleton. And this is a face. And this one's a little bit harder to see. It's a fish. And this is a flower and kind of a person as well. They are surrounded with a pattern. So that's what I'm asking you to do. Now the colors that you choose to do on the inside, it's kind of up to you. But the most important thing first is that we get, let's go back here to this first one over here, that we have our organic line we have created a repetitious pattern around the outside. You can see I've done it here, created, and here's some zoom in close. So you can see that there is circles of orange and blue, and then I outlined it all again in black. So it's, it's up to you how you wanna approach it, but you need to make sure you use complementary colors on the border and that you start with that organic line in the middle. And I wanna see a picture just like this so I know that you understand. So for today, what I want you to do next is, we'll go to step five in the packet, is you're gonna divide it into four sections. Do it any way you like, but try to make it somewhat equal. And in each one of those squares, you need to do some kind of recognizable imagery and create a pattern around it. So you can see here what I've done with mine. Now, from today, moving forward, you are just going to submit in progress pictures to me of how far you've gotten. So for example, today is Tuesday. So you'd wanna do like Tuesday, get one square completed. Then Wednesday, get that one completed. Thursday, here it is. We don't have school on Friday, but the final is due on Monday. So try to get it wrapped up. And if you get further along than this, that's absolutely A-OK. -okay. And if you finish ahead of time, you are welcome to work on the extra credit opportunity and also the sketchbook assignment that is due for Monday. And you can look at that exciting video tomorrow. Have a great day, friends. Bye-bye.